Now there are a lot of fanboys that tout the GPU to be uber superior. The Xenos GPU on the 360. Sometimes these fanboys go overboard to say it's as good as modern PC GPUs. That's not true. Now, there is a fact that there are more ten, true native 1080p games on the PS3 than the 360. But it's not because the GPU is weak. It's because there are problems with it. Let's start off with the daughter board. There are, are 10 megabytes of EDRAM, embedded DRAM, at 256 gigabytes a second, which is not cool because the frame buffer is restricted to that 10 megabytes of embedded DRAM, which makes it extremely difficult for a good and true 1080p image. So, in my theory, I think 20 megabytes at 128 gigabytes per second would have been a much better offer. Now, another problem is that the actual display of 1080p. The 360's dashboard is stuck at 720p, but games can run at 1080p native like Sega 2 and uh, most uh, sports games that are at native 1080p except for one problem the autoscaler the autoscaler ruins the original 1080p image because it was originally designed to bloom a lower resolution image into a higher resolution image by upscaling so what this does is that if there's a 1080p image on the 360s, the scaler doesn't detect that. What it does is that it crushes it to write, uh, it's crushed, right, to be recognized as a 720p image automatically and then uncrumpled back into a 1080p image, which is not cool. Which is not very cool at all. And that's severe a problem when you're trying to play a 1080p game. If hackers can go inside the 360s and turn off that damn auto scaler, it would be a very, very different story for those few 1080p games there out there.